right friends welcome back to questions and answers so general and banking there are 40 questions let us go a little fast in 7th central pay commission the pay allowances and the pension were recommended for an overall increase of 23.55 percent on an average if you look at average increase that is 23.55 percent but for the working employees it will be 16 percent in basic pay 63 percent in allowances and 24 percent in pension and this is headed by justice ak madhur and the second important point is if these recommendations are accepted by the central government they are going to be implemented from 1st january 2016 the headquarters of united states of america department of defense is the pentagon the pentagon is the headquarters it is situated in washington and this is the headquarters of Department of Defense in United States of America. At the Commonwealth Meet Chogam 2015, this is 24th Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting. Chogam means Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting. You may ask what is Commonwealth? Commonwealth is the group of around 53 countries. This is you can say intergovernmental organization. Commonwealth is basically includes the countries which were part of the former British Empire and most of the countries became now independent and they are around 53 countries. So Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting takes place once in two years. In the year 2013 that is 23rd Chogam was held in Sri Lanka now 24th Chogam held in Malta. You may ask where is Malta? Malta is a Mediterranean country that is part of European Union, part of Eurozone. Please look into this picture. So this Commonwealth meet that is the 24th Chogam 2015 was held in Malta. Malta is a European country and India announced 2.5 million dollars for the Commonwealth Small States Trade Finance Facility. There are uh, small states in Commonwealth and India announced $2.5 million for the Commonwealth Small States Trade Finance Facility to help small states introduce clean energy. Look at the next question, which of the following is incorrectly matched? Three committees are given here. First is the Vijay Kelkar Committee. Vijay Kelkar Committee is associated with reforms in public private partnership model of execution for infrastructure development. This is correct. Second one is the Justice Ishwar Committee. Our Income Tax Act pertains to 1961. So, as to suggest changes in Income Tax Act, this R.V. Ishwar Committee was nominated. Third one is T.K. Vishwanathan Committee, that is with regard to bankruptcy laws, or you can say, so as to ensure a mechanism when sickness is detected in industries, the main purpose of bankruptcy law is that, and India did not have any bankruptcy law. So, as to improve the ease of doing business index, government is uh, taking steps for changes in Income Tax Act. Not only that, India would like to have bankruptcy law. So, all the three are correct. So, the right option here is none of these. Tenth World Trade Organization. World Trade Organization is Geneva based. 1995, it started functioning and 10th ministerial conference is going to be held in Nairobi, Kenya in December and our minister Nirmala Sitaraman is going to attend this meeting in Nairobi. Look at the next one, a wave of toxic mud reached Atlantic Ocean through Rio Dos River and this Rio Dos River is situated in Brazil and this uh, toxic substances like uh, mercury, arsenic, chromium were found to contain in this water and this is due to collapse of some iron ore mine in the upstream and because of this pollution 
several marine creatures are expected to be affected right friends look at the next one as per the rating agency icra don't forget some rating agencies are there these are called credit rating agencies icra is one such agency and they stated recently banks converted rupees 40000 crores of a loan to equity what is the meaning of this banks have given loans but they are not paying back companies are not paying back then banks can become part owners in the company to the extent they have given the loan so banks became ownership or banks got ownership in companies this strategic debt restructuring was announced by the reserve bank of india and under strategic debt restructuring now 40000 crores of debt was converted to equity and s stands for strategic so strategic debt restructuring gives power to banks to assume ownership when loans are not repaid by the company fizer fizer is new york based pharmaceutical company recently that purchased alergon alergon is a dublin based dublin is in ireland and fizer decided to purchase alergon for 160 billion dollars and after this buyout fizer will become the world's biggest pharmaceutical company please don't forget fizer is new york based manufacturing viagra lipitor lerica and alergon is manufacturing botox novak djokovic he belongs to serbia and he created history recently by winning fourth consecutive world tour finals title and the tournament was held in london and he belongs to serbia recently to facilitate uh, small traders that means to give facility of e-commerce for small traders union urban development minister m venkaiya naidu launched e-commerce portal and the name of this portal is e lala please don't forget pv sindhu won the macau grand prix gold tournament she defeated the japan's mitani in the final and you may ask where is macau macau is the special administrative region of china Macau is a special administrative region of China and don't forget China has got two SARs one is Macau the other one is Hong Kong Macau was handed over by Portugal in the year 1999 and Hong Kong was handed over by British in the year 1997 these things please don't forget World Bank decided to give an assistance of 1 billion dollars for skill india program it will assist developing the skills of around 50 lakh people icc chairman is shashank manohar and icc headquarters is in dubai please don't forget national milk day is being observed every year on november 26 to commemorate the birth anniversary of a milkman of the country that is vergis kurian Several persons in connection with the alleged war crimes are being prosecuted in Bangladesh and Bangladesh liberation war took place in 1971 and for the alleged atrocities committed during the Bangladesh liberation war now trial is being conducted and several persons are being given death penalty and life imprisonment first ever constitution day was observed on november 26 you may ask what is the significance the significance is on november 26 the constituent assembly adopted the constitution of india and subsequently this came into force on 26th january 1950 this constitution was adopted on november 26 1949 and came into force on january 26 1950 and that day we celebrate as republic day so november 26 is constitution day january 26 is republic day name the state government which will impose ban on liquor from 1st april 
Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar announced that liquor ban will be there from 1st April 2016. We have to wait and see how it will be implemented because implementing liquor ban is the most difficult task for state governments. First ever day night five day test cricket match was held in Adelaide. Australia won the match and this is the first time five day cricket test match was held with the pink leather ball. International Day for Elimination of Violence Against Women is observed on November 25. The purpose of observing this is from November 25 up to December 10. Don't forget December 10 is Human Rights Day. And in between this 15 days, awareness is to be created for preventing violence against women. There are statistics that 35% of the women across the world are subjected to some sort of exploitation. Sri Ella Pragat Sudarshan Rao resigned as the chairman of Indian Council of Historical Research. Two points I would like to tell you. This was established in the year 1972 and registered under Societies Act. Technically, it is a society and it is autonomous body under the administrative control of Ministry of Human Resources Development. Chogam Summit, I have already told you, it was held in Malta. Malta is a European country. It is archipelago of several islands situated in the Mediterranean Sea. The technology for accessing internet, which is 100 times faster than Wi-Fi, and uses visible light communication and this is known as uh, Li-Fi and once this uh, technology is implemented probably internet may become much cheaper and this is in the experimental stage. Govan Arjun Antonio Costa became the Prime Minister of uh, Portugal and Goa please don't forget is the former Portuguese colony. Thinking of him is going to be a film by an Argentinian filmmaker that is Pablo Caesar and this uh, thinking of him is uh, based on the life story of uh, Rabindranath Tagore. Father of White Revolution is uh, Vergis Kurian. On his birth anniversary, we celebrate the National Milk Day. Mauricio Macri will be the new president of Argentina and uh, he replaced Cristina Fernandez. And if you want more, please listen to the lecture part. The first vaccine for any parasitic disease. Parasite, what is the meaning of parasite? Parasite is the living organism which is dependent on other living organism that is host for its living. And the first vaccine for the parasitic disease was developed for malaria last week we discussed. This vaccine is sold under the brand name Musquitrix and this is going to be implemented in Africa now. Name the state which is involved in the controversy of dance bars that is Maharashtra based on the Supreme Court's instructions. These dance bars are most likely to be started shortly. The state involved in the bar bribery scandal Minister K.M. Mani resigned recently and on the allegations of this bar bribery, Finance Minister K.M. Mani resigned and the state we are talking about is Kerala. I am not going into much detail about these political issues. Government of India advanced a rollout of Bharat stage 5 and 6. You may ask what is Bharat stage? These are pollution norms for various vehicles. Previously, Bharat 5, that means uh, reducing the exhaust gases. Bharat 6, that will still reduce the exhaust gases. Bharat 5, previously thought of implementing from 2022. Now, Bharat stage 5, that is BS5 norms, uh, will be implemented from April 1, 2019. That means uh, the implementation is uh, advanced by three years or you can say pre by three years. Now, 
Bharat stage 5 norms, please don't forget, these pertain to vehicle emission norms. And Bharat stage 5 will be implemented from April 1, 2019 and Bharat stage 6 will be implemented from 2021 and these uh, Implementation dates for Bharat stage 5 and 6 are pre to 2019 and 2021 respectively, please don't forget. Noboru Karashima, scholar and authority on the South Indian medieval history and scholar and historian of South Asia died recently, he belongs to Japan. He has written Economic and Social History of Medieval South India. He was recipient of Padma Shri in 2013. And he was the man behind setting up International Association of Tamil Research and he was its president for around 20 years. Though he is a Japanese citizen, but his research mostly pertained to South India, especially Tamil Nadu and his books. Please look into this slide, South Indian History and Society towards a new formation, South Indian society under Vijayanagar Empire, like that. Deadline for completing all weather roads under Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana was reduced by 3 years. Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana connecting the rural habitations with all weather roads. Please look into this picture. This is all weather road connecting villages or habitations of having population of 500 and above in plain areas having population of 250 and above in tribal areas, desert areas and other inaccessible areas. That is the main theme of Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. That means all the areas, plain areas, all the villages with minimum population of 500 and above should be connected by all weather road, tribal areas, interior areas, desert areas, those areas, all the hamlets with the minimum population of 250 and above are to be connected by all weather roads that is Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana that was started in the year 2000 by the then Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee and under this program several rural roads are connected in the intervening period and now the government wants to complete this program by 2019 Previous target was 2022, now government wants to complete this by 2019 and at the same time central government allocation is also increased by rupees 5000 crore this year and it will be rupees 15000 crore this year. Istana is the official residence and office of President of Singapore. Why I asked this question is the Prime Minister recently visited Singapore. So Istana, please don't forget official residence and office of the President of Singapore. Which of the following is not allowed to issue masala bonds as per the government of India stipulations? Masala bonds can be issued. Masala bonds are rupee denominated bonds. They can be issued by non-banking finance companies, development finance institutions, public sector enterprises. So the answer here is none of these. Which of the following is incorrect about sovereign gold bonds? Sovereign gold bonds are issued by Reserve Bank of India on behalf of the central government. Second is interest rate is 2.75% paid two times in a year. The interest rate is 2.75% per annum. And these are sold through banks and designated post offices. And third important point is this is part of central government's market borrowing program. Please don't forget central government borrows money from public and banks are major contributory to this uh, market borrowing program. So, as part of the center's market borrowing program, the money collected through this uh, sovereign gold bonds will also be included. So, the correct answer here is none. Which of the following is granted in principle approval for setting up of trades? Trades is a trade receivables discounting system. This is for small enterprises, a trade receivables a discounting system. For small enterprises, they will get money. That means if some firm sold some goods from Chennai to a firm in Delhi, meanwhile, the firm in Chennai will have access to funds through these trades. So, 
ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स डिस्काउंटिंग सिस्टम रिसेंटली रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया गेव इन प्रिंसिपल अप्रूवल फॉर थ्री फर्म्स एंड डोंट फॉरगेट एक्सिस बैंक इज वन अमोंग देम अंडर बीबीपीएस बीबीपीएस इज भारत बिल पेमेंट सिस्टम इट विल इंटीग्रेट ऑल द रिटेल पेमेंट्स इन द कंट्री एंड फॉर दैट भारत बिल पेमेंट सेंट्रल यूनिट विल बी एनपीसीआई भारत बिल पेमेंट सेंट्रल यूनिट विल बी एनपीसीआई एंड सेवरल ऑपरेटिंग यूनिट्स विल बी गिवन लाइसेंसेस बट सेंट्रल यूनिट विल बी एनपीसीआई नेम द बैंक हुज एम्प्लॉयज रिसॉर्टेड टू वन डे स्ट्राइक टू प्रोटेस्ट अगेंस्ट दी proposed privatization that is idbi bank secretary general of commonwealth is kamlesh sharma he will be in that post up to april 1 2016 and on april 1 2016 she is going to take the post of the secretary general of commonwealth please look into this picture look at the last one commonwealth leaders felt that access to funds for poor countries to reduce greenhouse gas emissions is the need of the hour and chogam 24th chogam was held in malta of course we have discussed one or two times in this part itself right friends so 24th chogam was held in malta have a nice day thank you